report here now, tracking what lies ahead. It sounds like we're going to enjoy this break, at least for today. <laughs> yeah, and Linda, I think that uh, the early shift today is going to yeah. do you well. You because so? <laughs> when you get up, you know. Yeah. Uh, but when, when you get off today, you're going to be able to enjoy some sunshine. It's Long gonna be very overdue. comfortable, right. and it's gonna be a great day. If you've got some things to get done, maybe some of that shopping that you put off when it was raining, yeah, that's gonna be a good day for that today. So okay. some good news in your forecast, and then as we head through the weekend, that's when we start to see those issues coming back up, more wet weather ahead. And as far as what we're seeing outside this morning, here's that live look. Well, it looks like our camera having a little bit of trouble here on Highway 99 in Butte County, but nonetheless, we are seeing clear skies overhead right now. However, there are still some lingering impacts from that heavy recent rainfall. You can see the flood warning remaining in effect through around 11 a.m. this morning along the Sacramento River in Butte County as well as Glen County areas. Ord Ferry is the one location where it looks like that may remain through 11 a.m. The rest of the locations around the Sacramento River seen that flood warning expiring by around 8 to 9 a.m. this morning. Temperatures at the moment in the 30s to 40s across the valley. So a pretty big disparity. 47 in Redding, 39 in Chico. The difference here is those downslope north winds keeping Redding a touch warmer. 30s to mid 40s in the foothills, teens to 20s in our mountain zones. So the clear skies overnight allowing that heat to escape. That's why we're so much chillier in our mountain zones this morning. Wind out of the north, eight miles an hour right now in Red Bluff and Redding. We're not seeing winds picking up too much today. Out of the north, maybe 20 mile an hour gusts, that's about it. Subsiding a bit to the afternoon hours and not picking back up on Friday either. Satellite and radar clear skies covering Northern California right now. High pressure off the coast of the Pacific Northwest, the main driving factor here, keeping the storm track well out of our neck of the woods for at least today and tomorrow. But we will see those clouds increasing heading into your Friday for St. Patrick's Day. So something to keep in mind there. Sunshine on the way out the door at 8 a.m. this morning. So get the sunglasses handy. You'll want the extra layer for the morning. You won't need it by noon today. We're warming up quickly. Sunshine at noon. More sunshine at 5 p.m. for your commute home. Staying clear overnight tonight and winds not as strong. So it's going to be chillier for tomorrow morning. And then clouds increasing through the day, partly to mostly cloudy by 5 p.m. Seeing those clouds continuing to brush across our region through the day Friday into early Saturday. Saturday, we become a bit more cloudy, but we're not projecting to see any showers. Sunday, that's when it does look like showers are likely to return. And that's not great news if you're trying to enjoy kite day on Sunday. So just keep that in mind. Might get a little soggy out there. Monday into Tuesday, it does look a bit heavier Monday night into Tuesday as far as that rainfall is concerned. And checking in with what we're seeing for the projections through this weekend and most of this is Sunday. We're looking at up to around a half an inch of rainfall in the valley. Could see a little bit more than that in some of our higher elevations. And then from Monday through Wednesday of next week, those tallies start to really climb quite a bit. Over two inches for Chico, Orville, and Redding. Two plus inches in our mountain zones and foothills. Checking it with snow totals. Nothing too impressive through the weekend. And again, the lion's share is arriving Sunday. Looks like maybe two to three inches in some of our higher elevations around 4,500 feet or higher. And then we'll see up to around two feet of snow possible through the middle of next week. Temperatures today ending up in the 50s for the northern mountains, 55 degrees in Weaverville, 56 degrees in Hayfork. We'll end up in the 40s to lower 50s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades, 46 in Chester, 52 in Bernie today. Foothills, 40s to 50s, upper 50s in Paradise, 59 degrees there, 57 degrees for Megalia, 58 degrees for Forest Ranch. If you're in the Valley today, it's looking like mid 60s in store with sunshine, 64 degrees in Redding, 65 in Red Bluff, 64 degrees for Chico and Orville. All around, it looks like a picture perfect late winter day. Remember, the spring season kicks off on Monday, but Monday is not going to feel as spring like as what we're seeing today or tomorrow. Sunshine for today in your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast. We will see more. Sunshine tomorrow in the morning and then clouds filling in in the afternoon for St. Patrick's Day. Mid to upper 60s, your highs Friday and Saturday. Overnight lows 30s to lower 40s. We'll end up in the mid 60s still on Saturday. Low to mid 50s with rain on Sunday. More showers looking likely with lows in the 40s and highs in the low to mid 50s from Monday through Wednesday of next week.